found 1,500-year-old tomb of a Germanic lord with a circle of six women. The grave in the central tomb was arranged with a ring of six women radiating out from a central four-foot-by-four-foot four bronze cauldron as though they were rays coming out from the sun. It's not clear if they volunteered for the ritual or were sacrificed, or who they were, perhaps wives or concubines. Also found were eleven skeletons of cattle, dogs, and horses, which were buried as the mound was built. The archaeologist at the site, Suzanne Frederick, from the Landis Museum, Halle, and Arnold Mull, have yet to find remains of the royal prince, but are hoping there are cremated remains in the cauldron, which was boxed up with the block of soil on which it rested and taken to the workshop at the Landis Museum for Volgeschitte, the Museum of Prehistory, for the state of Saxony Annalt to be examined. The cemetery was well hidden in a natural hollow, and over the years has filled with four feet of sediment protecting it from being disturbed and looted. Of the sixty graves found so far, a wealth of artifacts has been discovered, literally. Some of the items recovered are an iron sword and a shield boss, the rounded center of a shield, also called an umbro. A completely intact glass bowl with a whorl design in pristine condition and a perfectly preserved glass spindle whorl which display the recognized manufacturing technique of Gallo-Roman workshops on the Rhine. Two fibulae, a clip to fasten a garment, show a highly artistic design merging two colors of metal and another more elaborate fibulae with a scrap of fabric still attached did not fare as well because of the corrosion of the metal from the fabric deteriorating on the front of the clasp. The fabric, however, will give scientists more information about the origin of its wearer. They believe the owner of the grave may have been from either the Germanic Longobards, Alemanni, or Thuringian tribes. A tiny statue of a Germanic god in a sitting position, just the right size to sit on one's thumb, was discovered as well as a gold coin with the image of the Roman Emperor Zeno, who reigned from 474 to 491 AD, near the time of the fall of the Roman Empire. According to Britannica.com, the cemetery was built during the time of the Great Migration in Europe from about 300 to 700 AD, in which invasions from German and Slavic tribes of the Bulgars, Alans, Goths, Huns, Vandals, and Franks, just to name a few, were changing the face of Western Europe, previously Roman territories and more. Tribes were invading each other's lands. The Visigoths came to Rome for protection, and ended up conquering the city in less than 50 years. The Ostrogoths took over much of Italy, and the Franks came into Gaul, now France, and part of Germany, peacefully over a period of time, but were able to resist challenges of power from the Alemanni, Burgundians, and the Visigoths, who eventually settled in the Aquitaine in what's now the southwest region of France at the border of Spain. There are still ongoing excavations at the site, which archaeologists will not reveal to keep it safe from looters. Most of the articles are taken to the laboratory to be examined and restored. Archaeologists hope to learn more about the Great Migration by examining these grave sites, and hopefully many more artifacts will be found. The world is filled with stories going viral every single day. But how many of these sites can you actually follow? We understand that your day should start with positive stories, stories that resonate with you. And so we started JoJo Stories. Our mission is to create meaningful stories that cover everything from animals to anthropology, history to environment and lifestyle. The kind of content you read on our site will be one you'll want to share with your family and friends. We hope you'll join our growing family and be part of our community. Welcome to JoJo Stories, jojostories.com.